Hi guys, good morning. It is August 31st. Yes. And I am at the airport here in Dallas Love Field. I'm flying out to Portland, Oregon today. I have to be there two nights today and tomorrow and I come back home on Monday. It's the first time that I'm leaving Denver overnight. And uh, I look a mess. So I have my glasses on and I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm on my first show back since having Denver and he's already five months. I'm at the airport and I've got about an hour before they fly. I just wanted to get here early uh, just in case. Alright, I'll update you guys in a little bit. I'm going to go grab some Starbucks. I'll be right back. So I just landed. The flight was about 3 hours and 40 minutes. I probably slept 20 minutes. And I got a green tea matcha. Hey guys, so I'm at my show right now and uh, it's just outside in Portland, Oregon. And I've been singing here for like years and years. And it's like the, the temple. I don't know if you can see it behind there somewhere. So I'm here and behind stage. And I just needed to vlog real quick because my phone is going to run out of battery. Oh my gosh, you guys, so I just came back to the room and look at how messy everything is. And I just rushed in and I did my makeup really fast and then I even left my drink. Now I need to pump a sap because it's been hours and if I don't pump, then you don't want to keep your milk. Don put three of the boys to sleep. He's texting me and asking if I'm back. Jay Heavy might give me some food. Actually, a sandwich Jay Heavy today. She said she's gonna give me some food. Yes. All right. I need to text her back. So, guys, everybody went to uh, the restaurant to eat some chow, and I was like, I can't go. I need to go back and pump because um, I just did not. I was engorged, and plus, I just didn't want to run out. Like, if you don't pump, you're not gonna have milk, you know. And I'm texting Don. I'm pumping right now. I'm just watching a little TV. I'm gonna wash my face off in a little bit, and then I'm gonna get ready get some sleep and uh wake up in the morning get ready and then uh, the show tomorrow is at the same temple same spot i'm singing two days in a row so i'm gonna be out there by 2 30. it's to a satellite okay i've sing here like many 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 years and then today they gave out some kind of like a paper thing you know kind of like and i'm like was this my diploma but it was pretty cool I've been singing for this temple for a long time since I started singing in Bunsun. Um, the show is good. It's just it's such a long show and you just go up and down, up and down. You don't really sing like consecutively. You sing like two songs, you sit down and another hour or so you come back up, you sing another two songs. So I just basically, I don't know. But there's always some type of like um, older music type, you know, kind of like nyak kue hương. So I, they always have only one or two people that sings like fast music. So they t call me up like multiple times to kind of like, I don't know, change up the order of the songs, I guess. So that's that. And then tomorrow's another day. And then I'll finally get home on Monday on Labor Day to the family. Everybody's, I don't know what we're doing. So, yeah. That's it. I'll update you guys on uh, maybe by tomorrow. Bye. Hi, guys. Good morning. Well, afternoon, actually. It is actually September 1st. It's June Cookie's birthday. Everybody wish him a happy birthday. BTS lover right here. Um,. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I just, well, I got up earlier and then I was just messing with my phone, just laying in bed. They, they say it's Nam Nul. And basically, just doing that. And then um, one of the show promoters, like helpers, called and said, pick up some food in the front. So I went downstairs to pick up the food and to my surprise, she was there and then somebody else went down there, like one of the other singers, and I don't know her name, but she, they said that she sings for Paris by night and she's like a Nokland lookalike. Like she looks exactly like Nokland to me. So we picked up the food, I microwaved it down there and it was Bun Mowe Jai, which is vegetarian Bun Mowe. And I didn't have my camera to vlog for you guys. So I, 
couldn't show you what was in it, but it was like just fake meat, carrots, daikon, mushrooms. And it was pretty good because compared to the soup that I had last night, it was horrible. I don't even want to show you that soup because that soup was not good. Uh, it was some slimy, snotty soup. I don't like it. It tastes like sponge soaked in chicken broth or something. I don't know. And it was like snotty. I had no spoon to eat it and I was like drinking it like this. Oh my. And it was just barely coming down and I wanted something like liquidy, but ugh. That was annoying. Um, but anyways, I'm pumping right now. And I want to show you guys my Spectra S9, which is the portable pump that I had. This is the portable pump. It looks kind of like an iPhone, you know, it's like big as an iPhone. So I'm bringing it with me today as well, because yesterday I didn't go out to eat to pick out my own stuff because I need to go home and pump. So yeah, it is one o'clock right now. We are going to, I'm going to finish pumping, going to go take a shower and then I'm going to get ready for the show today and can't wait to go home and see my boys i missed them so much i called them earlier today but don's trying to take a nap with them right now so i'm just gonna let them be i'll talk to y'all later once again i'm checking in i'm doing my makeup i can't believe i think i have a little thing right here um it is one o'clock i have an hour left i have to hurry up and get out of here they're gonna pick me up at 2 30 so yeah i have my hair to dry to finish lashes to put on and finish up my lips so i just wanted to show you what i'm doing makeup all lined up on the bed i'm a mess <laughs> Alright guys, it's break time. I just finished eating a little bit because last yesterday I didn't eat, so I came home starving because I ate a little bit and um, it was broth, pretty good. Now I am sitting inside of one of the show promoter helpers car pumping. You can hear the pump and she didn't turn on the AC. She closed up the doors and she told me to just go in there and finish up your work. And I was like, dude, you need to pop a window because I am hot up in here. So she just popped the window. She's scared that people are going to see me. And I'm just like, if you don't want to see me, just don't look. But I mean, this is just something I had to do. Anyways, um, it's hot. Even though it's like... It's like 82 degrees outside and it's hot in the car and now I just can't, I can't stop thinking about babies or dogs that are left in the car for like so long. Cause I'm like barely even in here for only 10 minutes and I'm like sweating my little, look at this, just dripping, dripping sweat. All right, so I'm gonna finish up and get the heck on out of here. So since I'm still in here and I, you know, don't have much to do but surf the internet and look at my phone, I wanted to tell you guys something that I've learned from watching the BTS movie because I've just, you know, Jungkook's birthday is today. Uh, but in Korea, it was yesterday, so um, I'm celebrating it today. But <laughs> thinking about BTS and it made me think about what RM had said um, when it was like, it was part of the movie. And he said that he just keeps looking at, you know, the schedule and the time, just thinking, oh, he only has like two more shows left. And he's like, gosh, I shouldn't think like that. Um, you know, like, don't think in a negative way, like, oh, God, that's all I have left and hurry up and hope that it's over, you know. But instead of the fact that you have to think about it in a good light, that all these fans have 
waited to see you and you know going through so many obstacles to see you perform so don't think of it in a negative way and yesterday I just kept catching myself looking at the time because the show is just long and I'm like okay two hours is over two hours is over okay one hour is over I'm just like looking and I thought about it. I'm like you know what I need to use BTS as my motivation to uh, not take advantage of the fact that I'm able to do this like you know like I have an opportunity to I have a cool job that can go up there and meet people from all over like anywhere and um, do my best to give them a good time instead of thinking about oh I have two hours left think about oh I got two hours left make the most of it so yeah so my mindset has shifted so, just wanted to share you guys a little light of that you know sometimes you guys need to not think about certain things like that like oh this is taking forever just embrace the moment and you know live in that moment because you will never get it back so enjoy it just a little bit of what I had in my mind that I wanted to share with you guys so all right, one of the flowers. Yes, the flower they both are having some fun. Here we go, take a picture of that. I'm just recording. You guys, so I'm back in the room and uh, I've just been, I don't know, just out of my mind. I'm so tired already. It's like one o'clock in the morning. I just finished FaceTiming Don and pumping and cleaning lightly packing and uh, just getting ready the show is over it was successful two days uh had fun you know always crazy on stage and uh just appreciating that i can still do it and um yeah so i can't wait to go home and see my kids my husband and um celebrate Labor Day with them. So I hope everybody is having a safe and happy Labor Day weekend as well. And uh, I'm analyzing all night long. So good night, everybody. So I just wanted to say good night to everybody and uh, have a great night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs>